very much. Uh, let's talk about the Wellspring Edmonton Cancer Center that's opening, and we've got Dr. Hundleby in the house to join uh, to talk about it. Uh, doctor, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. Yes. So, can you tell me all about what is the, the thought, what is the, uh, the uh, concept behind the Wellspring? Okay, well, the concept behind the, uh, the idea of cancer support is to, um, is to help people get back uh, to normal. And, and uh, that Wellspring started in Toronto in 1992, so yeah. it's been going for quite some time. And of course, this is the first one in northern Alberta. There's mm -hmm. been one in Calgary um, since 2007. But the whole idea is to um, get people back on their feet, get them back to work, get them back into regular productive life, so that um, uh, all, all the non-medical things that they need to be able to deal with. Um, and I, I, as you probably know, I mean, cancer has often been said to be, um, it, it affects your, your thinking more than, mm -hmm. more than your body sometimes because, you know, when, once you've had cancer, you get into this thing where you wake up in the morning and there's, there's a pain or there's whatever and you think, mm -hmm. uh oh, you know. And so part of the thing is, is to get back to, to where you can sort of relax and, and, uh, and enjoy life again. So it's geared towards more someone who has been, who has overcome cancer rather than who's in the middle. Well, you know, it's interesting because when we started building this program, you know, we started the, the, the project in 2008 and we've been building and, you know, we, we were in a money uh, uh, fundraising idea for, for a number of years and then when we started building the building. Um, over that period of time, there's been a huge change, and, and one of the things in, in research is saying that when people exercise and they eat nutritionally or healthy foods, that they do much better. And as a matter of fact, uh, there's, there's some research going on right here in Edmonton that shows that with certain cancers, the, um, the, the chance of occurrence is reduced 40% oh, when, wow. when you exercise. And uh, there's, sure. there's not very many drugs around that can reduce recurrence by 40%. So will those be the type of services offered? They will. We have, we have a full gym, uh, and that, that was uh, provided to us by World Health gyms. And we have people from the university who will be instructing trainers in, in working with cancer patients specifically. So this is the first in Edmonton. Mm -hmm. to, uh, to offer that to cancer patients. And, and one of the big things about the latest research is that it shows all kinds of benefits for people while they're in treatment as well. So it isn't just a matter of once you're finished treatment, okay, now you can start exercising. Mm -hmm. uh, they're finding that people are able to accept the treatment much more readily when they have exercised and are fit. So the old thing about go home and rest is doesn't doesn't fit today. Well, quite a change, quite a change indeed. It is. It's very, very much of a change. Yeah. Now, how many Edmontonians do you expect to come through the doors in, let's say, in the first year? Well, we're we're not really too sure because this 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 wellspring is is quite unique. Um, most of the wellsprings that have developed in Canada, and there's there's eight other ones, mm -hmm. um, always started with a little house. Oh, and okay. so it was either a donated house, and then what happened was, as time went on, uh, builders would build a big house for, for a, a place like in Oakville. They have a, a big house that mm -hmm. was a five-bedroom house. The, what we've done is we've actually started with a, with a building that um, was designed on the architect's table. Mm -hmm. And so it was designed to do what we want to do. And um, it's also three times the size of any other wellspring in Canada. So where Calgary started with about 350 people signed up the first year, we're thinking we probably will have 2,000. Oh, geez, that's a great amount of support for those it's people. It's huge. It's huge. It that's really incredible. Is. Yeah. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people at home wondering, how can I get involved as far as maybe volunteering there or as a financial contribution? Well, certainly volunteers. We have 130 volunteers registered now, and we just opened our doors yesterday. Um, and in terms of financial, all of the costs are, are covered by donations. So in other words, we have to, we have to fundraise for all of the money mm -hmm. to run that, that place, and it's just over a million dollars a year. Okay. Um, and, that, and in that, we offer all these programs at no cost to the cancer patients and their families. Awesome. A great place for them to go. Well, thanks a lot it for is. sharing this story. This is okay. fabulous. Great. Okay. Right. Have a great holidays. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a quick pause here on Dinner Intelligence. Still lots to come, including Social Bites with my uh, wingman, Courtney Terrio, up next. Stay with us for that, Edmonton.